Hola! Hello, hello, hello. It's a wonderful day. Gee, I, I look so flowery today. Oh, you might have forgotten my name. I'm Nick Prill of Mint English, and yes, I'm so flowery today. Actually, I spent about a couple of hours uh, in the beach, and uh, I had to rush back here to the studio just to make sure that I wouldn't miss our daily date. And so, it's time for another session in the world of English grammar. Today, we're going to continue talking about the basics, all right? The basics of English grammar, particularly the subject matter about adverbs. What is an adverb? Let's first define an adverb. An adverb is a word or a group of words that describe or modify an action word or a verb. Sometimes an adverb may also modify or describe an adjective. That will be later. First, you have to remember an adverb is a word or a group of words that help define or that describe an action or a verb. All right? Normally, Adverbs answer the questions how, when, where, why, in what way, how much, how often, to what degree. Words that answer these questions are actually adverbs. So we have so many adverbs in English. For example, answering the question how. How did Mark run? Mark run fast. So there. The word fast there describes run. Run is a verb. Fast describes the verb. It is an adverb. How did he do it? He did it quickly. Quickly describes the word did. Did is a verb. And so, quickly is an adverb. When? When are we going to the, to the beach? When are we going to the beach? Tomorrow. We are going to the beach tomorrow. Tomorrow answers the question when, and in the sentence, we are going to the beach tomorrow. Tomorrow helps define going, and so it is an adverb. Where? Where is it? It is at the right. All right? It is at the right side corner. At there is a preposition used as an adverb. Why? Because at actually answers the question where. All right? In English, you would take note that the longer or the deeper you get into grammar, the more you would understand that certain words have more than just one use in English grammar. Prepositions may also be used as adverbs, and so forth. We'll delve deeper on that as we move on. Answering the question, in what way, actually is similar to answering the question, how. How much? How much love do you need? I need a lot of love. A lot there is an adverb of amount or quantity. So it helps answer the question or it definitely answers the question how much. How often? How often do you brush your teeth? I brush my teeth Three times a day. Three times is an adverb. It answers the question, how often? Let's move on in our discussion regarding adverbs. Adverbs may also be used to define adjectives or other adverbs. We'll have examples of those shortly. However, right now I would like you to take you back to some of the basics. Answering the question, when? I have to study today. Today helps answer the question when. When do I study? When do I have to study? 
today. Today is an advert. My mother always listens to the radio. Always helps describe the word listens. Listens is a verb. And so always is an adverb. And it answers the question when. Our teacher is really good this year. Year there is a noun. Really is actually an adverb. Really good. Okay? Really good in teaching. Our teacher is really good in teaching this year. So really there is an adverb. It helps define or helps describe teaching, which happens to be a verb. Answering the question where, I like to read under the trees in the park. I like to read under the trees in the park. Under is an adverb. Yes, it is true that under is a preposition. However, in that sentence, it is used as an adverb. Why? It helps describe read. And read is a verb. Where do you like to read? I like to read under the trees in the park. He went away. Away helps define, helps describe went. Went is a verb, so away is an adverb. I will meet you outside. Outside helps define, helps give meaning, helps give sense to the verb will meet. And so outside there, although it is a preposition, is used as an adverb. Answering the question how. I should drive carefully. I should drive carefully. Carefully helps describe the verb or the action word drive. It is an adverb. My brother studies very hard for all his examinations. My brother studies very hard for all his examinations. Very, the complete adverb very hard describes studies. Studies is a verb. And so very is an adverb. Very hard is the complete adverb. The students and teachers work closely on the project. The students and the teachers worked closely on the project. Closely helps describe or give more meaning or define worked. And so closely is an adverb. More often than not, ladies and gentlemen, adverbs, the more common adverbs in English and in L-Y, carefully, beautifully, closely, and so forth. That is one giveaway. Normally, when we meet L-Y in a word, normally it is an adverb. However, like I stressed earlier, there are certain adverbs that do not end in L-Y. Just like, always, never. Adverbs that describe or answer the question when. Also adverbs that answer the question where, under, below, over. You see, these are prepositions, but when we use them in our own sentences, sometimes they are used as adverbs. Now let's move on with more examples. Adverbs may be used to modify or describe or define an adjective. They were really unhappy. They were really unhappy. Really is the adverb. What does it help describe? 
It helps describe unhappy. Unhappy is an adjective. And so adverbs may also help describe adjectives. Adverbs may also help describe or modify another adverb. He is almost always hungry. He is almost always hungry. You have two adverbs in that sentence, almost and always. Always describes hungry. It is an adverb. Almost helps describe always. It is still an adverb that is defining or that is describing or giving more meaning to another adverb. You see, adverbs, ladies and gentlemen, have many uses in the English language. Adverbs help describe, um, not nouns, adverbs help describe verbs or action words. Adverbs help describe or help modify adjectives. And adverbs may also help describe or modify other adverbs. I would like all of you out there to please try your best to come out with as many as many adverbs as you can and use these adverbs in your own sentences. Again, adverbs are words that answer the questions how, when, where, why, in what way, how much, how often, or to what degree. So if those words that you are able to think of would answer these questions, then definitely they are adverbs. Use them in your own sentences, practice well, practice verbally, so that you would become better and smoother speakers in English in the near future. That's it for today, folks. Have a nice day.